This is Tom Renacki and today I'm going over the nine best nuts and the three nuts to avoid. We're starting now. Here's the beauty of nuts. These are some of the best snacks that we can eat and they're proven. They did a study of 500,000 plus people and they found that nuts help with weight loss, help with blood flow, help with heart health. This is over years. This is basically undeniable studies. They did a second study regarding kids in school and nuts were one of the most nutritious and beneficial things that you could pack for a kid's lunch. Just be aware of kids' allergies. The New England Journal of Medicine essentially states chips are the worst thing in America right now. They say 15 chips, so like a handful of chips, is 160 calories. There's no nutrients, it's all bad stuff in there, it causes plaque in your arteries, causes you to be unhealthy, put on that fat around the midsection. Whereas one equivalent handful of nuts gives you six essential things. Number one, you get fiber. Chips don't give you any fiber, but nuts do. And they give you essentially a looser stool so you don't get hemorrhoids, so your butt doesn't hurt when you're sitting in your office chair all day. You feel more full. And one handful, if you wait like five to 10 minutes, most people feel a lot more full and they don't want to keep eating. Whereas with chips, you don't get full. Vitamin E, that gives you a powerful antioxidant which helps protect against stress. So do you have toe pain, finger pain, numbness? that could be helped by antioxidant. They give you protection of the cell membrane and they also have magnesium. Magnesium does over 600 things in the body. Heart protective, it's protective of your nerves, helps more bone develop by helping vitamin D along. You have comp important in red blood cell formation, healthy blood vessels, immune system, phosphorus. This helps with the formation of your teeth and cell growth and as I mentioned, Fiber is recommended by dietitians, and you get that in a handful of nuts. You also get manganese, which helps with cholesterol. Studies actually show for type two diabetics and heart health, if you eat one serving of nuts, which is a handful of nuts, as a replacement for some of these crappy snacks like chips, it does significantly help your heart. The American Heart Association Circulation Journal says it lowers your chance of type two diabetes by 17%. 34% lower risk of cardiovascular death. The blood vessels that supply your heart muscles, 20% less risk of coronary artery disease. And a 31% reduced risk of premature death overall. With all these athletes now falling with heart issues and people having heart attacks, this is something that could help your cardiovascular system. I'm gonna go over my nine favorite nuts, including the research studies and the reason why you're getting great proteins, good healthy fats, getting full, good vitamins, good nutrients. So they're gonna help you with all your arterial problems, your heart problems, your nerve problems. Let's start from number nine all the way down to my favorite, which is number one. Technically peanuts belong to the legume family. Peanuts are great because they make you feel full and they're full of B3, B9, magnesium, especially for ladies who are pregnant. Folate is very useful from nuts. A study of 200,000 people eating peanuts showed significant improvement in heart health. So this is proven on a large scale for many years. And look at the nutrition stats on peanuts. They do have a little bit of fat, but it's good fat. And look at that protein, that B vitamin, that B9, get these things and eat them. Hazelnuts, hazelnuts are nutrient packed. Just one ounce contains a lot of B vitamins and magnesium. Hazelnuts are loaded with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. At least one study shows that hazelnuts can lower your LDL and reduce your risk of heart disease. So they're filling and they help with your heart. We have a video on arterial disease, but nuts are one of the top seven ways to unclog your arteries. They're part of a great balanced diet. Just one ounce of hazelnuts is 178 calories, but look at that fiber, look at that protein, the vitamin E, the magnesium, the manganese. This can really help you get healthier. Number seven, Brazilian nuts. 
Brazilian nuts are full of nutrients like selenium. They contain vitamin E and magnesium. Selenium is important for thyroid production and DNA production in your body. So they're one of the richest sources. You just have to be careful because if you eat too much of these Brazilian nuts, it could lead to too much selenium poisoning. At least one study shows that Brazilian nuts are an excellent source of antioxidants. And again, that can help with nerve damage. Just one ounce of Brazilian nuts has four grams of protein, fiber, vitamin E, magnesium, and as I mentioned, almost a thousand of your daily value of selenium, which is helpful in DNA synthesis and energy levels. Number six are macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts are soft, buttery, and they contain a lot of nutrients as well. They're high in healthy fats and they're great for a low carb diet as well. Macadamia nuts contain a lot of B1, a lot of manganese, and this has been shown to really fill you up and control your LDL and help with heart risk. Not only are these nuts creamy and delicious, but they have protein low in carbs, they're very filling, a lot of B1, manganese, and copper, as well as fiber in your diet. Pecans are great for salads, for adding to other vegetable dishes. They are same kind of thing, very filling, very dense, very low in sugars. They help get you your B1 and your zinc. And zinc is very important, especially now in the winter, in immune health, DNA synthesis, a lot of other things. So zinc is very important and you get that from pecans. There was a study where people ate pecans for eight weeks, 56 people in total, and those that ate the pecans, they had significantly lower LDL cholesterol and much stronger heart health as a result. Pecans are a great snack. They do have some fat, but it's healthy fat. They have good protein, good fiber, vitamin B1, zinc, and manganese. And it's a delicious treat. Number four is cashews. I love cashews. They're delicious, they're filling, just like the other ones. They're low in sugar. They're high in protein, vitamin K, magnesium, manganese. So cashews, very strong in nutrients and minerals. They lower your blood pressure, lower your LDLs, and can help with heart health. So not only does it get rid of your bad cholesterol, but your blood pressure comes down significantly with cashews. And in just one ounce of cashews, 155 calories, five grams of protein, you get some fiber, some vitamin K, some magnesium, and some manganese. So walnuts, I love walnuts. They're fun to crack, fun to crush. They're good source of minerals, high protein, good fat, and low in sugar. They're shown to help with your blood flow, your blood pressure, get that cholesterol down. It's also shown that walnuts can be good for Alzheimer's, for blood cholesterol, for treating diabetes as well, because there's no sugar in these things. So these are very beneficial for sure. In just one ounce of walnuts, you have protein, fiber, copper, magnesium, manganese. It has those heart benefits that we were shown below. It's a great choice. Number two is pistachios. So these little shells, I love to crack them open. They're very addicting and they're very filling. High in protein, good fat, low in sugar. Pistachios are a great source of vitamin B6, vitamin B1, and phosphorus. They have done studies where people actually eat nuts, like a very small amount, a few ounces here and there. They help make you full, you actually lose weight, they're high in protein, good fats, they take your cholesterol down, and they've actually done real world studies where people have lost weight actually using these nuts. What you also have to consider is these nuts are great in antioxidants and they have fiber. So fiber keeps your stool a little bit more regular and helps with blood cholesterol. Check out pistachios. In just one ounce, you get protein, fiber, vitamin B1, vitamin B6, phosphorus. That's a nutritious nut with the countdown peanuts at number nine hazelnuts at number eight, Brazilian nuts at seven, macadamia nuts at six, pecans at number five, four is cashews, then we have walnuts at three, pistachios at number two, and drum roll, we get to number one. Almonds are amazing. They're number one on our list because they're relatively cheap. For the amount of calories and density you get and nutrients, the cost is relatively low. You can eat them raw roasted. You can eat them in a lot of different ways. You can chop them up and add them to salads. They're very good in protein, very good in fiber, very good in good healthy fats, low in sugars, and they have vitamin E, 
magnesium, manganese, so they're great for you. People who incorporate almonds into their diet actually have less belly fat, they've lost weight, they've lost cholesterol. They did a 12-week study on over 200 people and basically lower cholesterol, less diabetes, less blood sugar, and better hemoglobin A1C, so that's a blood marker for diabetes for my diabetic patients out there. And finally, almonds actually can help regulate your gut bacteria. So there's some studies there, not getting into specifics, but they keep your gut bacteria more regular. And the three worst nuts are these. I'm gonna go over the top three in a countdown with the worst nut in last place. Macadamia nuts are number three. Even though they made my best nuts list, macadamia nuts, they're a little bit higher fat. I love them personally. If they're part of your mixed nut packet, they're great. But if you're eating just macadamia nuts all day, you're getting more fats per ounce than other fats. Although studies now show fat is not that bad and it does make it full. So that's a controversial number three for me. Number two is pine nuts. Pine nuts have great nutritional value. They can lead to pine nut syndrome. This gives you a bitter metallic taste in your mouth for months. Is that a chance worth taking? I don't know, probably not. That's why they make number two in our worst list. And the worst nut overall, this is a little bit controversial to me, but you'll see why. The worst nut is peanuts. Essentially, the case is made that peanuts make you eat a little bit more, they're little, but they are exposed to something called aflatoxin. Aflatoxin is a fungus associated with liver cancer. As some studies show that aflatoxin is a toxic byproduct of a mold that falls under the aspergillus. The National Peanut Board points out the peanuts are more likely to be exposed to this toxin in parts of Africa and Asia, so we should be safe in the US. The nut can cause discomfort at the very least, even if it doesn't cause major issues. I don't think we have to worry too much about it, especially peanut allergies now. You know, they are banned in schools. There's a lot of different risks, like allergies, aflatoxin. They are packed with protein, and they are a much better snack than like chips, for example. That's why they make our number one worst list. They are high in fiber. Fiber keeps your stool regular, cuts down on your hemorrhoids, cuts down on your cholesterol. You can have your B vitamins. So B vitamins can help with your neuropathy. It can help with your blood flow by lowering your bad cholesterol and increasing your HDL, which cleans up your bad cholesterol even more. Nuts are filled with good fats not those synthetic bad fats like trans fats. And they're low in sugar. So if you're on a keto diet, they keep your blood sugar really low. They help with diabetes. They are one of the best things you can put in your kids' lunches. And this is proven by studies over long periods of time. Huge level studies of over 400,000 people show that eating nuts regularly cuts down on heart disease, improves blood flow, lower blood pressure, and less obesity. So even though they have fats, it's good for you. That's why nuts are one of the top seven ways to unclog your arteries. And that video is linked down below. So there's absolutely no reason not to eat these nine delicious nuts. So those are my nine favorites. Tell me what your favorites are. And if you need to learn about seven ways to unclog your arteries or the best vitamins for your nerve diseases, click down below, I'll link them. But if this helped, share with your friends and family.